Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my video. As you can see on this one eye that I have completed, this is going to be a sultry, smoky Valentine's Day look. So I hope you guys stay and watch. So we're going to start at the very beginning. I'm using the NYX HD High Definition Eyeshadow Base, which is my favorite primer for the eyes. And what you do is you just put your favorite primer all over your eyelids and you just blend away. Now that we have that primer on, we are going in with another NYX product. This is their Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk. It's a very, very white pencil, as you can see there. And we're going to put this all over the eyelid. And the reason why we're putting on kind of like another primer is because this is sticky. So the eyeshadows will adhere to it more. But on its own, this does crease. That's why we're putting a primer underneath this as well. But go ahead and put that all over your eyelid and then just blend. And now we are going in with our Lorac Pro palette. Mine is kind of ugly looking because it gets ugly looking pretty fast. And we're going to use this light pink shade. I love this light pink shade. And we're using the dual ended brush from the Naked 2 palette. So it's from Urban Decay. And we're going to go ahead and use the non fluffy side of the brush to put the color on our lid. So now we're using the fluffier side of our brush and we're going back into the Lorac Pro palette and we're using this beautiful color Sable. It's a reddish brown. So as you can see here by my swatch on my finger. So we're going to go ahead and pick that color up. You kind of want to pick up not a lot like I did here, um, but you kind of want to pick up a little bit and gradually increase the color. So just put that right on your crease and on the crease like bone that's right there. You want to go ahead and put that there and then just blend away. Now using one of my favorite brushes of all time, this is Sigma's Tapered Blending E40 brush. It's just a fluffy brush. We're going to go ahead and just blend it out because the Urban Decay brush, it's a little more stiff so it doesn't blend out as evenly and softly as I like. Now that you have that color blended away into a beautiful soft brown transitional color, we are going in with the MAC color. This is handwritten and it is just a darker, a really, really darker, again, reddish brown. I wanted to keep everything in the reddish family since it is a Valentine's Day look. So once I get this open, I'll be able to show you a better swatch of the color. And we're just going to go in with a medium angled shading E70 brush from Sigma but you can use anything that you have so it's just an angled eyeshadow brush and you're going to be putting this in the actual crease itself as well as the outer one third of your eyelid. Now that you have the color put into your crease and your outer third, now it's time to blend. So we're going to go back in with our fluffy blending brush and we're just going to make sure everything looks cohesive. And now going back in with our angled brush, we're going in with the black color and we're going to put that on the outer third of our eyes to make this a very sultry, smoky look. And now it is eyeliner time. So I am just using my Sigma EO5 eyeliner brush, which I use every time I do my eyeliner, and my e.l.f. cream eyeliner in black. And then over that, I'm going to be using my L'Oreal The Super Slim 12-Hour Infallible Liquid Eyeliner Pen, which I use, again, in all of my videos. I will leave the video below of how I show you how to do my eyeliner. All right, eyeliner is on, and it matches the other eye. Thumbs up for that. 
And now it's mascara time. So the very first mascara I'm going to be using is the CoverGirl Flamed Out Mascara. You can use, of course, any mascara you'd like, but I like to use this as my first mascara, kind of like a base mascara because it elongates my lashes. Alright, now that we have the CoverGirl mascara on, I'm putting on the Jordana mascara. It's not the one that's like the extreme lash, it's just a regular one that says Jordana mascara in black, but uh, the title has worn off. So yeah, just put on your second coat of mascara. We're pretty much done, but I just want to go back in with Handwritten by MAC with the angled brush, and I kind of just want to make that color pop more in my crease, so I am just applying kind of like a second layer on my crease and out a third. And now we're going back in with the Urban Decay brush and we're putting on the light pink again because it has been washed down with all these browns in our eyes. So just go ahead and place that on your eyelid and then we're going to use our fluffy blending brush and blend it in. Once you got that blended away, we're going in with a shader brush. This one is from Real Techniques. And we're going in with the color Espresso from the Lorac Pro palette. And we're going to place this color underneath the lash line, not in the waterline, underneath the lash line, just to give the look more of that sultriness. And we're all done! I didn't show you guys what I use for my face because uh, I do have on a full face here. I have my foundation, bronzer, contour, like the whole works. So I'm just going to show you guys very quickly what I used, but everything will be down below so you can actually know what I used. The very, very last step is the lips. So I'm going to be putting on Nivea's Kiss of Milk and Honey, which is currently my favorite for my lips because I have very dry cracked lips and we're gonna go ahead and put that on moisturize our lips and then we are going to be using the wet n wild lipstick in think pink I love this and I like the pink and I like the way it looks especially with this look so go ahead and put on your favorite pink lipstick And that's all guys thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate each and every single one of you guys all of my links will be down below and i will see you guys in my next video bye happy valentine's day